these were when Abercrombie and Fitch were really, really good. If they were making these kind of scents now, I would say that Abercrombie is a top tier fragrance house. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a quick little review today, reviewing three classic Abercrombie and Fitch scents. I've actually reviewed all these individually on my channel before, before I was kind of like really into colognes. I really liked these fragrances when I first reviewed them. After I've tried so many good fragrances, so many top tier niche fragrances, I've really tried them all. I came back, I sprayed all three of these. What do I think about them? I don't know about the availability on these. I've said this before, but Abercrombie and Fitch is terrible for releasing something and then taking it away maybe less than a year later. I used to like all these fragrances. I hyped them and then they came out with these and then they came out with a new version of these and now you can't buy them anymore. So this is for somebody who maybe you found a vintage bottle online or this maybe this comes up again and you wanna see a more honest review on it because I do know a lot more about these fragrances than I first did when I reviewed them. Let's start off with Colden. Abercrombie & Fitch obviously doesn't get that much traction, but there's a reviewer named Robes08 and he really liked the original Fierce with the silver cap as a lot of people did. And then he tried Abercrombie & Fitch Colden and really didn't like it. It's pretty much the only big YouTuber has, who has tried any of these scents, really. And he didn't like cold and said it was too simple, this, that. I really enjoy this scent. It's familiar, yet different. If I were to describe it, it smells like ginger, pepper, and watermelon. I really, really like ginger. Uh, the pepper in here, Robes of Weight made it seem like it's just super peppery. I, there is some definite pepper in there, but it's not an overwhelmingly strong kind of pepper. How many fragrances do you know that have watermelon and ginger? Probably not that many. I do really, like I said, I really, really like ginger. Watermelon's a pretty nice note that people don't really use, and I'm surprised that it uh, blends so well with this. Um, if you wanted to try a niche version of this, I'd recommend Armav's Craze Noir. Craze Noir smells kind of like a niche version of Colden, and that's what helped me pick out the watermelon note in this fragrance. I went to a fragrance boutique thing, and they had Craze Noir, and I had Craze Noir too, and he's like, oh, if you like watermelon, try this out. I'm like, yeah, Craze Noir does have watermelon. Craze Noir, I thought, smells like Colden, and Colden definitely has it in there as well. Now, if you were to get your hands on this, this isn't gonna be like super robust, and it's not gonna last forever. It's got really solid projection and it's a really enjoyable smell. For some reason when I smell Colden, I think of the perfect after shower smell. It's super likable. That's Abercrombie & Fitch Colden, first one. Now on to Abercrombie & Fitch Woods. Now this is one where, I don't know if I've talked about it too much on this channel, but uh, I've, as you may have known, I got into fragrances with Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. And then when the Fierce came out and it was about 2009 or 10, they had um, Colden and they had Woods. So I actually owned a bottle of the original Colden and the original Woods. I just loved Woods back in the day. For me, these Abercrombie & Fitch scents, so likable and they're so good. There was nothing that's really like it in the designer world and that's why I liked it. To me, nothing really smells too close to Abercrombie & Fitch Woods either. I will say that I tested this one time and I wasn't as impressed as the other two fragrances with it. But I will say, like I said, when I first got into fragrance, I owned a bottle and I loved this stuff, man. I just loved it. I felt like I was wearing something super special that no one else could really smell. It smells like a classic musky brute style fragrance, but kind of toned up to make it more likable. Cause I absolutely hate brute and anything like brute. It's just that old classic, like eighties, super musky kind of smell. They do it a lot more likable in this fragrance. And gosh, for me, I didn't see the magic in it. It actually smells a lot better now. Um, but I don't know, the other two kind of wowed me a little bit more. It's kind of barbershoppy, it's kind of broody, but it smells pretty good for those style fragrances. Like I said, I would never wear a Brute. I will retest this one to kind of give it a little bit more in the future. I think that this one, they actually sell the bottle of this one too. They don't sell the bottle of the other two. They should sell the bottle of all three because these are all great in my opinion, but Abercrombie & Fitch Woods, pretty solid, kind of like a take on like a Brute style fragrance, Ezra Fitch. Now this one is the one that I didn't smell back in the day. They took it away in maybe about 2005 or so. These all have really solid middle of the pack projection, probably like a hair stronger than First Instincts, 
but I will say Ezra Fitch probably has the most projection that I could smell. It's a really unique style fragrance. I've seen people review it online and they're like, oh, it's the worst, it's the worst, like most synthetic leather I've ever smelled. To me, it almost smells like a, it's like an objecty, smoky kind of a vibe, but it's not as prominent as like normal fragrances. Like when you have, oh, it smells like smoke or oh, it smells like objecty. I see why they said it was synthetic because it's not as much of a clear picture. It's very, very different and it has a little bit of lemon on top. I think Woods has a little bit of lemon on top too, but these are very, very different style fragrances. There's a little bit of lemon on top, but nowhere near is it a lemon style fragrance. Same with Woods, but the lemon kind of gives it just a little bit of likability that I enjoy. Mainly that synthetic, like leathery, smoky kind of vibe with some lemon on top, a little bit of soap deep down. And it really, honestly, I really enjoy this fragrance because I don't really smell anything anywhere close to this one and you could say woods is a little bit close to brute maybe a little bit and then you could say cold and the only thing that smells like cold and is craze noir besides that i haven't really smelled anything like cold and especially not ezra fitch ezra fitch is so off in its own direction the main reason people didn't like this one is because of the it doesn't have really prominent notes but it's so different but it is so likable. What this smells like to me is Layered Fragrances Ecstasy. When I smelled Layered Fragrances Ecstasy, this was the only fragrance that kind of smelled like it to me. Layered Fragrances Ecstasy is much stronger, has a much more authentic kind of a smoke to it in the backbone, but it isn't as easy to wear as something like Ezra Fitch. Um, Ezra Fitch is a toned up, easier to wear version of Ecstasy. And besides Ecstasy, I haven't smelled anything that, that's anywhere close to these. These are classic Abercrombie and Fitch scents. These were when Abercrombie and Fitch were really, really good. If they were making these kind of scents now, I would say that Abercrombie is a top tier fragrance house. But as of lately, I haven't seen too many things that wow me, especially not like this. If you compare to like something like First Instinct, First Instinct is a lot more teenager smelling than these. And yet, well, Abercrombie and Fitch is supposed to be like college. That's what they say, but I mean, it's obviously, we know it's a little bit for the teenager style crowd, but these fragrances, I mean, even the colors and, and the themes, they're their own style fragrance. They're not close to anything else, and they're so vastly different from one another, but they all smell super pleasant, and they all fit the Abercrombie name. So I definitely recommend, if you have a chance to get these for cheap, um, I like all of these. Colden, it's really easy to wear. It's something that should be cheaper. It's not something that I would go and spend a lot of money to buy. If this was available, this would be one of the ones I recommend. It's so easy to wear. I enjoy it so much. Woods, I have just a special place in my heart with it. It's like a different kind of take on like a musky brute style fragrance. And like I said, I don't I don't like brute, but this take it's like has that brute kind of smell that I actually enjoy. I, I do enjoy Woods and Ezra Fitch, the longest lasting, but they all last pretty good. Like I would say you probably get, you know, hour and a half, two hours with these and maybe a solid two hours with this one, maybe two and a half. One time I sprayed this a few times and I went on a run outdoors with one of my friends and he was like making a joke about like how much basically he could smell my fragrance and I was kind of surprised. So Ezra Fitch definitely does jump off it, but I was actually just talking to one of my subscribers. He says he owns all these and he wants to wear them sparingly for the winter. Very solid scents. Definitely recommend them if they come out again. Thank you guys for watching this video. I know a lot of people on my channel don't really get into Abercrombie. A lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. So I appreciate you for watching. And if you want me to do any other fragrance reviews or any other classic Abercrombie style fragrances, maybe you want me to review all my Abercrombie style fragrances, talk about my favorites from the vintage, my favorites from nowadays, I will definitely do that. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. Thanks to you guys helping me out so much with that 10K. I mean, to do all this for so long and to finally have 10K. I mean, this is all you guys. I appreciate it so, so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. But they do it a lot more likable in this fragrance. They do it a lot more likable in this fragrance. They do it a lot more likable in this fragrance. Pippa!